First news. Team Movistar Yamaha is unveiling their 2015 YZR, M1 MotoGP prototypes in the Spanish capital Madrid, and the event is live on YamahaMotoGP.com. The transmission has some hiccups every now and then and it's a real pity that no high-definition stream is available. Anyway, we managed to make some screenshots so you can figure out how the new liveries and the bikes look like. Studio photos are expected really soon, so check back with us later for them, too. Like we already told you, Movistar has gotten more real estate on the bike and the green M is now literally huge, dominating the side panels and dwarfing everything else. With a five-year contract, such an ample presence of their logo is definitely one of the things we expected. Monster Energy Logo Unchanged Monster's logo remains intact as it looks like the energy drinks manufacturer did not agree to have its position and dimensions modified. As we already knew, Fiat Professional gave way to one of the group's other brands, Abarth. The Scorpion Shield and the logo now adorn the front cowl of the bikes, as can be observed in the photos below. The top sponsors remain the same, Enios, Monster, Samakan Didipan, Yamaha Indonesia, and Eurasian Bank. However, new names got on the bike, namely Chromax, a specialist in wrapping and paint, and Desk Ant, a Japanese power sports clothing manufacturer, plus a Barth which we already mentioned. As for the leathers, they are more or less the same with the bike liveries, with the corresponding changes belonging to each rider's personal sponsor. Rossi is planning to keep up, Lorenzo is planning to catch up. The two Yamaha factory riders Jorge Lorenzo and Valentino Rossi have also gave brief talks about their plans for the 2015 season. Nine-time world champion Rossi said he's feeling in top shape, again one thing we already knew, and that he intends to start an all-out war whose ultimate goal is to win as many races as possible and try to win his 10th title. On the other hand, Lorenzo says that he has trained very hard after the end of the 2014 season and he's now in an exceptional physical condition, one of the things he sort of missed out last year. Apparently, his physical training left a bit to be desired and this showed in his results. Anyway, Jorge Lorenzo says things have been taken care of and he feels like he's 20 again, more than ever ready to fight for podiums and victories. We remind you that the 2015 season kick off with the March 29th race in Qatar, with several official test sessions until then. Second news. Yesterday we showed you the first official photos of the 2015, Spec Yamaha YZR, M1 factory riders Valentino Rossi and Jorge Lorenzo will be using this season. We also promised we'll be back with even more cool high-resolution photos, including bike close UPS, and we are here to deliver. Given the exclusive nature of these bikes, this is about the closest glance we'll be taking of the M1 prototypes, unless someone receives a paddock pass in some Yamaha contest or becomes part of the team. We heard team boss Lynn Jarvis speaking about the bike in the launch event yesterday and he did not mention any dramatic changes made to the M1. However, he did mention that the seamless transmission and the fact that the engineers and mechanics have improved it. Yamaha has only introduced the seamless transmission last year in a rather shy manner, as it looks like the whole thing was not fully tested under race-grade stress. Problems occurred in private tests, but the gearbox proved to be reliable for the remainder of the season and helped Rossi and Lorenzo claim top positions late in the championship. An all-out battle is expected. With both riders in top physical condition, Yamaha can hope to give Marquez and HRC a ride for the money in 2015. However Lynn Jarvis and House of Iwatan know that Marquez sort of have the upper hand, even if Honda themselves say that don't believe Marquez domination could be extended for too long to such a level. Whether Yamaha's new MotoGP prototype and the determination of its contracted riders will be better than HRC's amazing Marquez cannot be estimated as of now. The first on-track battle will be fought at Sepin, in early February, which by the way is around the corner, in the first 2015 official test. Gentlemen, place your bets.